Hello there! Another video on the Rust Rover IDE which just came out last Wednesday the 13th of September 2023. In this video I will implement using Rust Rover the visitor pattern. The visitor pattern is used to make uh, to visit a collection of objects which implement the same interface. Let's see how this works. It sounds rather abstract. Uh, as you can see, I put out uh, a drawing of how it works. Every element in a collection has the same uh, interface and that can be used to visit that. It also makes it possible for us to implement the visitor pattern for different objects, not by extending or modifying them, but by extending them. Let's see. I already opened uh, the Rust Rover IDE. As you can see, there's the standard Hello World program. Let's see if that runs. And it runs. That's good. Now let's try and add the different things we need for the visitor pattern. First of all, we start by adding a models directory. And in the models directory, we create the models.rs file. We ignore the, the notification here, no problem. First of all, let's define our terms. We're going to build a collection of both organizations and persons. An organization has a name and an address, a street address, and the person has a name as well, and an email address. So, we'll first define the visitor trait. First of all, we need to be able to visit a person. We give it a reference to self and a reference to a person. Don't worry. We'll define the person struct later on. Similarly, we do this for an organization. Well, there's that. Then every element because this is a trait used by the visitor of the elements, and we need to have a trait that is common to the elements of the uh, collection, the visited elements, in fact. So, we just use the element, define the element trait, and it's all it does is accept. Also, in this case, very simple, just get a mutable, mutable reference to a, a visitor or a strike which implements the visitor. Now it's time to implement or to define the person. A person, as I said, has a name and an email address. I just use email here. We'll implement a constructor. We call it new, more or less by convention. We give it a name and an email. Those references to string slices. And we return self. And then we construct destruct. As you can see, Rover is really helpful, and we'll see some more helpful features later on. We don't need a semicolon here because this is return value. Next, we need to 
implement the element, as I say that is the trait that is common to all the visited elements. So that is. Here we'll see another useful feature. It just gives me the single method in the element trade. All it does is we go to the visitor, we say visit person and yes, say self. Why can we use self here? Because we are implementing this for a person and a visit person, as you can see in the, the trade definition for the visitor, gets a person as a uh, parameter. Then we do something similar for the organization. Construct. There's a name. Sorry, I was too quick. And the address. Again, we'll implement. Constructor and dress Next we'll define the visitor. This will be a very simple, rudimentary, well, empty struct for now. And we'll implement the visitor for email visitor. As you can see in the left, if you look at here, you can see where we are. It's kind of navigation. Let's see if it is really helpful here as well. So, visit person. Good. All we have to do here, because we're not really sending an email, of course. Check sending email to MJ person dot name person dot email. I will do something similar for the organization. And we just send an email there, of course. You can't send an email to a mailbox, to a physical mailbox. That's it. What we do, what we need to do now, is add a mod.rs. Save it, and hopefully, it says here attached file to main rs. So we'll do that. And if we go to our main.rs file, which is where we run this thing, it's already there. Nice. Well, let's test this thing. So first, we need a collection, of course. And because we need to be able to mutate this collection, because we are adding elements to it, we need to make it mutable. As you can see, it automatically adds the element struct to the or element trait, in fact, to the using to the use statement. Very nice. Let's have 
the first person. Which is you and Alice and Alice at example.com. Those are not real email addresses, by the way. Bob, similar. And we need an organization name to use Acme. I'm a big Roadrunner fan. Box new. As you can see, the use uh, statement gets expanded or extended every time I add a new thing. It will be Acme Inc. There we are. Now we need to push everything. You see Alice, Bob and Acme going from grey to white. Everything that is unused is greyed out by Rust Rover, very useful as well. Now let's visit all three of them. And we need a visitor for that. Again, we make a visitor, and as you can see, it is there. Very helpful. Now we go over every element in the elements. As you can see, it automatically annotates the element variable, loop variable in this case, with the appropriate type. Also very helpful. And then we say element accept. Element. Sorry, email visitor. And we have to make it a reference and mutable, of course. That's it. Let's see if this runs. The trade element is not implemented for organization. Okay. Sorry. That is true. Visit organization, self, again, we can do this because self is an organization. That is the beauty of Rust, the error messages are usually very helpful. See, and it works. So let's see where we are in time. That should be enough. In the next video I will debug this thing and we'll see some of the shortcomings of, well shortcomings, rough edges of the Rust Rover product. So far so good. See you in the next video.